first of all, I want to say forgive me for uh, forgive me for the delay, um, the delay on you know, just the delay. I want to say uh, I had to first of all I had to get strength, I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love, and the support out there. Is your your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt. It hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, Y'all are amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me. And I'm working. So, thank you. Do 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 I don't know y'all remember that and we back with another video so y'all seen that clip in the beginning that's Wayne um feeling sad he feels sad that he didn't get the Super Bowl I want to say this he talking about how he let, uh feel like he let everybody down all the um sports commentators who's rah-rah for him and all that and again I, I love Wayne one of my favorite um rap artists of all time please don't get it twisted but I do recall a time where they was asking Wayne about Black Lives Matter and you know what I'm saying? How he feel about the police brutality and this, that, and the other. And he basically was all OJ edition. He like, I'm not black. I'm Lil Wayne. <laughs> I don't know what y'all dealing with because I just, I just don't deal with that. Do y'all recall that? Because I do. I recall that. But he's sitting here talking about the Super Bowl and how he feel like he let sports commentators down i feel like i let all oh, y'all down you didn't feel like you let us down when we was going through some of the most tumultuous times in our recent history with black folks being gunned down left and right and they asking you how you feel about it essentially what they was asking you is yo give a statement on what you feel is going on he didn't do what the people felt he should do or what he should do as a black man he didn't do that he said, I don't really know nothing about that because I don't deal with no problems. But he feel like he let y'all down with the Super Bowl. That's nasty work to me. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, <laughs> I just did that. This is not even got nothing to do with it, but that's how I felt straight up. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. And thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to. There also join up in a discord, good people, positive vibes, 
all the time. I can't tell you that enough. Smash that TikTok link to follow me over there for any content that I post there as well. Now, we're going to get into this back on fit clip of Hurricane Chris speaking on how he felt about Wayne being what they call in snubbed for the Super Bowl halftime show. At the end of the day, you know, nobody owns the Super Bowl halftime show but the NFL, right? So the notion to think just because, oh, it's in New Orleans, that I own that, it's kind of audacious, I'll be honest, even for Wayne. And that's Wayne. Don't get it twisted. Goat. Goat Wayne. It doesn't matter about how his dreadlocks look thirsty. He looks dehydrated. His performance is bad. It don't matter about none of that because he's Goat Wayne. But still, to think that they owe you the Super Bowl halftime show is just wild to me. But we're going to get into Hurricane Chris's comments about that. I think he big cap. The things he said, I think he's big cap. But let's get right into this content. Shout out to all my good people out there, man. I missed y'all. You know what I'm saying? We back in rotation, doing it up and all that. Shout out to my good people. Let's get this started. Nigga, we was talking about Lil Wayne performing at the Super why, Bowl. Why you nigga. felt like that they, he didn't get selected to perform? All right. A lot of times. Hey, look, when niggas be like, all right, see now, or all right, a lot of time, nigga about to start. Tap it. He about to try to start saying big words and do some extra explaining. In our city. Yeah. We do great things in our city. But what you got to think about is the people who make decisions in our city, they change like this. Every couple of years, you got a new politician. You got a new person in charge. In every corporation, in the NFL, new people are being put in position. New people are being put in position. It, 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 it all keep revolving. So what happened is we run across situations where the person that's making the decision is disconnected from the actual culture of this environment. Yeah, I actually think y'all mayor from L.A. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You run into situations where... Years ago, this wouldn't have happened. Right. But after new people get in new positions, they are, uh, they, they, they not the same people that you used to fuck with, that you had relationships with. They into different shit. They wasn't even here when you did what you did to want to respect. Oh you. man. You understand like, what I'm saying? On. So yeah. we could be left out of our own environment. We could be left out of our own community's functions. We could be left out of that shit. But it's important that we remember the motherfuckers who laid a foundation. Because they put passion into what they do. They put their all into what they do. And they gave they self to us. And we love them. And we're going to continue to love them. Because they mark significant times in our life. The music that they gave us, we was able to bob our head or get mad to that shit. Know what I'm saying? Where the fuck this culture come from when we start washing our hands with the shit that built the foundation that we standing on, bro? Yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck how much money you got. I wouldn't give a fuck how many number ones you got. Nigga, if you go to the bay, who they fuck with? All the bay niggas. Keep fall, the sneak. Keep the sneaks. Nigga. They don't give a fuck how much money you got. We got to get back to that. Loving our culture and showing, making other motherfuckers respect our culture. We got to get, it's, it's, it's jobs that's going to have to be done on our end. And the people in power going to have to understand that you got a job to do as far as, as far as catering to the culture of, of certain communities. Now, I ain't saying I got no problem with who they, with, with. Well, what are you saying? Because that was a mouthful. About a simple question. You talk about the mayors and that this people's in position. That ain't got nothing to do with the Super Bowl. What are you talking about? Hurricane Chris? The hell? Kendrick performing because I fuck with Kendrick. Do and you? I feel like yeah, because uh, I don't feel like I don't feel like this is a situation where Kendrick don't deserve it or no shit like that. I ain't no Kendrick hater. If Kendrick get a motherfucker birthday present i want him to have a birthday present if kendrick get nominated to be the mother president of america i want him to be the mother president of america you understand what i'm saying i ain't got no hate in my blood for him yeah, but what I i'm saying is the people from the community owe each other to a little more unity you understand what i'm saying at least involve 
those who laid the foundation so they can always know that they ain't forgotten, that they ain't, that they ain't looked over. You never know how they feel at times. You never know how, what people go through. Wayne posted a post, and I could clearly see that this shit had him depressed. I talk to him every day. I ain't talked to him for two days when this shit happened. You understand what I'm saying? Like, So you never know how shit can make a person feel. And I was raised with a grandmother that tried her best to include all of us. If you had one piece of candy, she'd take that shit, a peppermint, hit that with a hammer, and give everybody a piece. And that's why I used to hide my candy from grandma. Ain't no way, grandma. It's what you get for pulling it out. Now we're in a day and age to where motherfuckers don't care about leaving nobody out or leaving. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel like they obligated to include everybody. Like, we just in a different day and age, bro. We are. But one thing I, I've, I have noticed, a lot of people, I, I, get, your, I get the frustration, but uh, a lot of people is not telling Kendrick congratulations. Facts. Congrats, K Dot, on being the greatest of all time. On whooping the biggest hip hop artist that we have out. Whooping him out. Whooping him out. We not talking about that enough. Because he gotta drop an album. Why well, he get the Super Bowl there? Hey, he just did some shit we've never ever seen in hip hop. Congrats, K Dot. What's Hurricane talking about? Congrats, K. Dot. Talk to that nigga T. Rail. Now that's saying, the bu that's bullshit. Niggas not saying that's bullshit. That's congratulations. Let's say man. let's say it right now. Let's say congratulations. I love Kendrick. This is what we doing. Congratulations bro. to that young right. man. But I definitely feel the frustration of what's, right. what's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? I would want Wayne to you know perform. Oh, I think that's cool. But and Wayne same, ain't the type of cat that even that's gonna ever even like. Do no hating shit. You like, know what I'm saying? You feel me? He the most humble person ever. Yeah. Like, he the most respectful person. Like, so. He should know. He been on tour with him. Yeah. No, I f*** with him. That's yeah. my, that, you know what I'm saying? That You know what I'm saying? I, I feel what niggas is saying, I, for sure. But it was, an, it was a young man that was picked. You feel Facts. me? And then and nobody. A great young man. The greatest young man of all time, if you ask me. It was like, hey, hold on. We do feel like this, but hold on. Hey, congratulations, bro. Right, 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 right. But right, let right, me right, go. Right. Let me go. You know what I'm saying? And express what I really feel. You know what I mean? Nobody told this black man, congratulations on doing what you did and your hard work and whatever you had going on. But that part. But hold on. Let me go over here and tell these niggas. You know what I'm saying? My uh, frustrations feel, yeah. and what I got going on. Like nobody is saying that shit. Everybody is kind of forgetting that shit. And, you know, that's kind of one part I be thinking is kind of, you know, f***ed up too in itself, though. But I do feel like, you know, Wayne is there. I think a lot of people love Wayne, including Kendrick. I think, you know what I'm saying? He, he grew up listening to him. That's, it's his, well, that's sure. his influence. You know what I'm saying? When Wayne is goaded. Wayne is goaded as well. Please don't get it twisted. You feel me? But it's just different. I'm going to be real with y'all. I believe that K-Dot is influenced by Lil Wayne and probably a plethora of other artists. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean nothing. Wayne's the GOAT. Wayne is a GOAT. He is GOATed. Absolutely. But this is different. Respect K Dot. Respect the man's artistry. This is the thing. Niggas don't like the West Coast, and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Niggas like Neem Bias. No, I used to like Drake. I used to like Drake. It's not bias. We watch this go down in real time. I don't know about a lot of y'all out there, but I watch this in real time. They could drop this disc record. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. You know what I'm saying? I'm on YouTube. I'm looking for the next track. This was legendary what went on between the both of them. Honestly, it was a legendary matchup. You know what I'm saying? But K-Dot was the victor. You hear me? And the spoils go to the victor. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Wayne, you was on that stage, right? Wayne was on that stage and he was going, they don't like us. They don't like us. They don't like us. Niggas ain't like that. I'm going to just keep it real with you. Niggas ain't like that. 
They don't like us. They don't like us. Wayne call itself being funny. You know what I'm saying? He could have steered clear of that situation. But instead, he wanted to be a part of it. He could have just gracefully bowed out. I heard that. Oh, hey, bro, wasn't you just with um wasn't you just with um Hove? You know what I'm saying? Wasn't you just with um uh Top from TDE and all that? You and Birdman? You know what I'm saying? So why'd you even have to participate in any of this? We're gonna get into this real quick. I just wanna show y'all some things, right? You know what I'm saying? The niggas wanna be like, oh. I feel a way about being snubbed. You should have mind your business. But again, you on the drizzler side of things. You know what I mean? And that's what happens. You're a casualty of war, Wayne. Respectfully. See? They don't like us. They don't like us. Yeah, that was cute. That was cute. Till it's time to do the Super Bowl. Hmm. His biggest influence sure. as in the hip hop culture, you know what I'm saying? The hip hop period. But it just wasn't nothing there to blame, man. Congratulations. Ain't nobody tapping, bro, on the back yet. Took the attention from, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it took, definitely took the attention off of his accomplishment and his little, Facts. you know, his goal. I ain't, you know, so this is a super Bowl. I ain't so little. But you think he yeah. feel like, what, like nobody ain't say, hey, bro, congratulations, bro. Yeah, you think that's how Kendrick feels? Hell no. I don't think that's how he feel. Kendrick is the type is just whatever. He's just living life. You feel me? Like he don't worry about. So he don't need a congratulations. Yeah, he don't, he ain't fact. looking for it. But if you give Smacky. it to him, he's gonna accept it and be grateful. But at the same time, he's just working. That's what he do. He's just gonna do what he do. He ain't really tripping off that. I kind of agree with him. Yeah, yeah. I kind of. God agree ain't with tripping him. off that. You seem like that would be. A, yeah, I don't know him personally, but. I don't think he. I don't think he tripping. Off I swear, that. he not. I know him personally. Like he, he's not tripping off that. Nah. I mean That's what he don't care Like you he said We tripping. all human And you know We all human And And If if we not tripping Then we got a song You know what I'm saying The party must die He got booked what Straight the, like that to get mad about. Yeah like You got know what I'm saying Like that whole thing I'm booked So what, why would I be mad off Of you not telling no, me No I, I, yeah, I, I ain't mad But what y'all talking about though he, It's he all he good not, man She don't, don't care about What they talking care about, about me. Me. Damn I didn't know y'all care about me You know you Doc, you like, know that though. But he, what if he, he be not. like, hey man, shit, I'm, am I gonna have a good show? Y'all gonna watch it? Or what? Yeah, everybody he know that. Man, he just, come on. <laughs> he, 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 Terrell Bunk, what if he feel like. Is y'all gonna watch it? You know damn well everybody and they mama watching that halftime show, including Wayne. We know that. <laughs> Are y'all watch this motherfucking show? Wayne will be in attendance. At the Super Bowl, watching that halftime show, and he's gonna cheer, and he's gonna bounce to the music. He not gonna he because you know why? Because Wayne don't take no stance on shit. That little dance on stage with his owl chain was cute, right? That's why you're in the position you're in right now. But we know we're gonna see him at the Super Bowl, and he's gonna be bopping to the music because he's not a nigga to take a stance. Like I'm gonna just stand here like this, and I'm not rocking with Kendrick. He not about to do that because historically we've never seen him take a stance on anything. Now, again, I'm not trying to attack Wayne's character or nothing, but I'm just presenting facts. We never seen bro take a stand on shit. So he about to be up there. They not like, uh, they not, maybe not to that song, but you're going to be up there rocking with K dots music. That's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to back on fig for the clip. Shout out to hurricane Chris. For the cap. I don't know what he was talking about to be the G know subtypes and the air, nobody's talking about Rakim. You think Rakim sitting up somewhere like ain't nobody thinking about me? I started hip hop. Thinking of a master plan. Come on, man. Knock it off. Knock it off. Hurricane Chris went further in his video to say if he was called to do the Super Bowl, that he would call Wayne. And have Wayne come out, this, that, and the other. Then T-Row said, yo, but what if they tell you ain't no Wayne? He said, man, 
I'm going to call him up and say, you're not nothing. And I hate when niggas cap because you would do that. All this whining you've been doing about your city online. You hear me? If the Super Bowl called you and told you, no way, you going up there and you about to do what? I don't even know this nigga's songs no more. What's the nigga song? Look, see, I forgot. I literally forgot. You know what I mean? But you could go up there and do all them songs. And you're not going to think about Wayne. But you sit up here in front of us and cap. I'm going to call Wayne and that's my friend. Ain't no friends. Ain't no friends. That's how I feel. Shout out to Kendrick again for getting this Super Bowl halftime show. Shame on Drake. Shame on Diddy. Shame on Wayne for doing that stupid little thing with the owl chain. That's why you're in this position. Ha ha. That's how I feel. <laughs> now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. And thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, join up in the Discord. Good people, positive vibes all the time. I can't tell you that enough. Smash that TikTok link to follow me for any content I post over there as well. And for anybody looking for any kind of marketing, promotion when it comes to this YouTube, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, contact at Drea the Virgo on Instagram for all your content creation needs. Again, that's at Drea the Virgo on Instagram. She can help you with thumbnails, views, monetization, whatever it is, contact her. She can help you. Again, that's at Drea the Virgo on Instagram. Y'all please comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this. It's your boy Gang Lanine. Peace.